Hello and welcome back to another episode of Geek With Glasses. Today's video is going to be all about iOS 7, the new features and just first impressions of uh, playing with it. So I've got it installed here on my iPhone 5 and uh, we're sitting at the lock screen and right off the bat we're going to see some of the new uh, design elements within the operating system. So Apple is calling it a flat design. I don't like that, that terminology personally. Um, I think more of a minimalistic design is, you know, a better way of talking about it. Uh, you know, again, these are just my opinions, but there's nothing flat about iOS 7. There's lots of multi-layers. There's lots of 3D elements built into it. Um, and so I think flat is just the wrong term. So I'm going to call it a minimalistic uh, approach to the operating system. It, it cleans things up really nicely. And let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So. Right off from the bat, uh, starting off, we uh, from the lock page, we have some new capabilities. So we can still swipe up, get our camera mode, but now we have the ability to swipe up and get a command center. So the command center is going to give us easy access to some of the most important features or toggle switches that we used to have to dig around in the uh, settings uh, panel to access. So right off the bat, we see uh, airplane mode. We see Wi-Fi toggle, Bluetooth toggle, do not disturb, and a portrait landscape. Um, locking capability uh, from the command center. We also have our brightness toggle so we can scroll, bring the brightness up or down. We have our, our music player or our video player access so we can you know start or stop and uh, change the volume, anything that we're listening to or watching. We now have an AirPlay button right here. And uh, so if you live in the Apple ecosystem like I do, um, I have an Apple TV and I have an Airport Express in my bedroom that's plugged into a stereo so that I can stream music throughout my house. We can quickly select the AirPlay speakers that we want to use. Um, we also have the brand new AirDrop feature. So AirDrop is a feature that we saw with uh, Lion um, on our desktops and they've now brought it to the iOS devices. So this is a quick, easy way if you're connected to Wi-Fi or creating a peer-to-peer Wi-Fi to share files. Um, you know, with some of the competitive phones out there and devices, they use NFC where you've got to get the phones close to each other because it's using that uh, magnetic energy to transfer files. Now we have that capability. This is their answer to NFC, which Kind of scares me because it makes me think that maybe the iPhone, the next uh, iteration of iPhone, won't have NS NFC in it. You know how Apple likes to do things a little bit differently. So we'll just have to wait and see whether or not that's the case. Um, I'm hoping that we get NFC, but you never know what Apple's going to do. Um, and then we also have uh, a flashlight app, so I can toggle on and off a flashlight. So we kind of alleviate the ability or the need, I'm sorry, we alleviate the need to have a third-party flashlight app. We can quickly get into our uh, alarm settings and our clock settings. So I'm on timer right now. We have our stopwatch. Uh, we have our alarms and we have our world, cl a world clock. And as you can see, again, here's that, you know, that minimalistic approach to the operating system. Things are all very simple um, and very, uh, you know, you can say it's a flat design, but it's just a very clean, non-obtrusive design um, to the operating system. So if we go back... We also have our calculator that's built in. We can access the calculator uh, quickly. And again, we also have the camera um, access from the command center. So if we pull down from the top, we now have from our lock screen, we have ability to get to the notification center. And the notification center is completely redesigned with this phone. So we have three tabs. We have a today notification center. So this is actually going to incorporate, and we can choose within the operating system what things we see on this today panel. But we have a calendar. Um, that you can adjust. Uh, it'll have appointments and reminders for anything that you've got going on. So you can quickly take a look at your activities for the day or what you need to do. Under all, we're going to get all of our normal notifications. So I've got email notifications, I've got Instagram notifications, and I've got App Store notifications. And you'll notice on the App Store, one of the new features, it's telling me that Slacker Radio was updated and it's telling me that, uh, well, again, Slacker Radio was updated. I'm not sure I necessarily like one of the new features, which is the auto app updates because a lot of times I like to see what the new features are. You know, I get the notification, I go and I see and I read what the new improvements are. With this, it just automatically updates with this new feature of the phone, which is auto updating of your apps. It's cool because you don't have to sit there and manually select, you know, update all or update this or that, but you're kind of missing out on seeing what some of the new features that the developers are giving to you um, with those new updates. But uh, again, just my opinion. So let's dive into the phone. Um, one of the things too you'll notice if I come over to my lock page, you'll notice that it's all black. This theme on this lock page is actually going to be based on the wallpaper that you have on your phone. So if I had a bright red wallpaper of something or I used to have a picture of a, of a Volkswagen GTI that was red, this would have a red hue to it and it actually kind of is transparent so you can see through to the picture. But unfortunately right now my wallpaper is just this black um, kind of a tile looking thing and the reason I changed it is because the other picture was white in the top and I couldn't see my clock. So um, anyways, let's jump in to the OS. You'll see this nice little fade and the icons kind of float out to the background and you can get a, a, a quick 
view of the native apps. And again, those native apps, the graphics have all been redesigned. Um, I like some of them. Other ones, not so much. Um, but uh, there's nothing we can do about that. It's what Apple's giving us. So we'll learn to love them eventually. So uh, my phone is completely customized. I restored from my backup when I upgraded to iOS 7. So I have all of my apps that I had before. And uh, let's just dive right in and take a look at some of the new features. So if we want to take a look at some of those that minimalistic design I was talking about, let's open up the calendar and we can see we now have our calendar view that uh, it's very flat. You know, we can scroll along the top and uh, change to the different views. Uh, we can go into a monthly view and we can scroll and see, you know, what's going on. But this is kind of an example that all of the native apps are going to have this like flatter look to them or minimalistic look. Everybody says flat because that's what Apple embeds into our minds. But I guess that's the way they work uh, and they do a good job at it. So um, we have the new Photos app, which is actually pretty sweet. This actually allows us to have, you know, look at our albums that have been created. We can look at our shared. So these are different photo streams. If I go back, I can see the different photo streams that have been shared up by myself and by my wife. Um, and then we can go into our photos and we now have all of these different ways of cataloging our photos. It's not just one big jumbled mess uh, of pictures. So we can see that these were taken, you know, these pictures were taken at home. Um, we can see that uh, these pictures were taken uh, down in Petersburg, District 1. This is when I went to the bug out a couple weeks ago. Um, and we can see that these pictures down here were taken in Manhattan and Grand Central Station. So it's using the geotagging when you take the picture and organizing so you can get an idea of where you were when these pictures were taken. If we want, we can go back to collections and get a bigger view um, and have more separation. You know, so the icons are a little bit smaller, but we can see more on the page. And then we can actually go to years where it's going to zoom out and uh, show us all the pictures taken in a specific year. If we wanted to zoom in on a picture, we can hold that down and actually scrub through the pictures and get an idea of what we want to look at and then let go. And it'll take us directly in to that picture so that we can take a view of it. So that's the new photo app. It's pretty cool. I actually like it. It really makes organizing your photos a little bit easier um, and finding photos based on dates or times or locations a lot easier on the phone. Um, it's pretty nice. So. Messaging app again, we have that flat uh, that flat look. So let me open up. I use my work phone to send me some messages. So we no longer have the blue bubbles in the 3D look. It's all flat. Um, it's all, when I say flat, you know, instead of having that 3D bubble look, it's just this, you know, kind of one dimensional look to it. However, the phone has got a lot of layers. If I pull my notification center down, you can see that the background kind of shows through. You can see a green hue here. And so this is what I mean by I don't think it's flat. You know, we've got these layers in here from all of the different oversets that we have access to. You know, again, we can see through that specific panel. Um, so that's why I don't like using the term flat, even though I keep saying it in the video. Um, some of the new settings inside uh, the, the settings console, you know, settings look a little bit different now and there's some more capabilities. Um, one of the things is that notification center. We can select what is going to show up in our notification center a little bit differently. Um, and then we have more control over what apps are, uh, are, are coming in the notification center. So iOS 7, it, it's been redesigned from the ground up. I really like it personally. Um, you know, I've got an Android Jelly Bean phone for work and I, I just kind of jumped into the Android world, um, you know, personally a few months ago and I've been playing around with it. You know, I've gotten kind of bored with iOS, right? iOS has been the same operating system since 2009 and 2007 actually. And uh, I'm really glad that we've got this new redesign. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. So, you know, you used to swipe to the left to get to your search. You no longer do that. You just grab somewhere on the page and pull down and the search menu comes up, uh, tap it to go away. Um, and you know, it's got a lot of new capabilities. You're not going to, it's not going to be very easy to see, but if I do this tilt, you can maybe slightly see the background moving and that's that 3D stereo, you know, that I can't remember what they call it, but the, the background kind of moves and it separates the icons out. It's, it's much easier to see. It doesn't translate via film very well, but, uh, you know, the, the new folders also, we have multiple pages. So if I jump into my games here, you know, I've got a folder. It only shows, uh, you know, the, the nine apps that are here, but I can swipe over and this is unlimited. So you can have multiple, you know, we're no longer limited to how many apps are in a, um, you know, in a specific folder. Um, we still can't put folders in folders. You know what? I actually haven't tried that. So let's see if it works. I, I seriously doubt it will. No, it won't. So we can no longer put folders or we cannot no longer. We can still not put folders within folders, which is something that I would like to, to see. 
so we could have subsets of categories, but um, you know we don't have that capability just yet. So uh, multitasking is one of the other new features. We finally have a cool new multitasking, so we can scroll through and see all of the apps that we have running in a thumbprint. So it's kind of free state of where we were. Want to get rid of it? We just swipe up. And again, um, just like the notification center that we pull up or the command center that we pull up from the bottom, this new method of managing, you know, these are these are direct ripoffs of some of the jailbreak. Uh, tools that are out there, which, you know, that's, it's cool if they want to go out that, you know, like they say, great artist copy or good artist copy and great artist steal. So um, these guys are taking their hints from some of the jailbreak community and some of the most popular apps that are being downloaded and they're implementing it directly into the operating system. Apple once again has done an amazing job of giving us features that we've had on competitive operating systems and or in the jailbreak world for years, finally giving it to us built into the operating system and making us all super, super excited about them. Um, and, you know, I, I'm one of those people. I think I was at a point where I was ready to explore new devices and this new fresh look on the operating system is definitely giving me a, uh, a love for the new operating system. It's, it takes a little bit to get used to because there's a little bit of changes, but once you're comfortable with it, you know, it's, it's really nice, it's really pretty. As you can see, I see I have very little lag um, I have had some problems when I've had too many apps open where apps will crash or I get a little lag like Instagram. When I open up Instagram, maybe a picture won't display. For the most part, I haven't had a problem. And again, this is build, you know, beta build one. It's going to be a while until it's, you know, perfect in the way, they are, the way it's going to be for release later this year. Um, and battery life is uh, a topic of concern. So I'm getting mixed reports. I got a couple of friends who have iPhone 4S's that are claiming that they've getting, they're getting absolutely horrible battery life. Um, personally, I'm not having any degradation in battery life. I'm seeing no major changes in battery life from iOS 6 to iOS 7 on my iPhone 5. I also have a friend who has an iOS uh, iPhone 5 with iOS 7 on it and they're also claiming a degradation in battery life and it may just be the way they're using it. I did confirm that they're on LTE you know, all the time. Uh, I do not live, well actually LTE just came to my neighborhood, but I'm on my Wi-Fi most of the time. Um, but LTE, you know, the minute I get on an LTE network with my phone, everything, my Android, the battery just gets sucked dry when I'm on LTE, and apparently it's doing that with iOS 7 as well. Um, so, so far I'm liking the new operating system. Uh, I'm going to spend some more time with it. If you would like to see more deep dive uh, into a specific app or a specific feature on the phone, please leave comments down below. And as always, thanks for liking, or thanks for watching the video and, you know, like us, subscribe to us, comment on us, thumbs up, plus one, any of those social networking things. They help out the show. I uh, appreciate it immensely. Click the links down below to find me on Facebook and uh, Twitter and Google+. And uh, as always, thanks for watching the show, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.